Good morning. Welcome back or welcome to our channel. It's Serena from the Falco family where we make videos about education and lifestyle friends. This morning I am trying to get some water onto our seedlings that we planted. Um, they're doing really well. They're definitely sprouting uh, but I don't think that my little shelf situation is going to work out so well because they just need more sunlight. So they're starting to like point towards the sun over by the sliding doors and i figured it would be better for them if i just go ahead and try to move them so i'm going to move them over to our like multi-purpose slash art cart situation because that way i can roll it um right in front of the window i could even roll it outside if it is a decent day for them to be outside but i will show you what we have so far well not all of them but some of them we are the falco family brian serena cameron kendall and savannah a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. Learning to document our adventures in homeschool and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. We've got sprouts, friends. Um, I love coming in and seeing them like point themselves towards the window, trying to reach the light. That makes me so happy. Um, I wrote a whole blog post about it. That's how happy it makes me. Anyway, um, some of them are kind of a little bit too close together. When we planted them, we put in several seeds to make sure that things germinated and some of them maybe had a little bit more than they should have. So I'm probably gonna try to separate them and see if they can live on. Hopefully you can see it a little bit. There's just way too much going on right here. So yeah, I'm gonna get them the stuff off of this cart so I can see if I can get the plants onto the cart. And I will, that'll be my little project while the kids are working through what they're working through for the morning. And we'll check back in. My mother, or my teacher, asked me to select. This stuff is kind of all over. No, I have to look it up. Where did you see it? I don't know. I guess I have to go look. Okay, see, that works. And then we can just kind of move it around wherever we need to, right in front of the window, turn them around when we feel like certain ones need a little bit more light. I feel like that's a win. <laughs> nice little accomplishment while the kids are still working. Let's get the rest of these on here. So I'm about to, I'm about to roll this cart into Brian's workspace to see if he can fix the second tier for me. So the cart is just like crooked. This tier is like leaning and it's been like that since he first put it together. So hopefully he can fix it for me. Also, I put sweatshirts on and take sweatshirts off all day long. It's like a constant state of being cold and then hot and then warm and then cold and then hot. So when you see me with several things on throughout the day, it's still the same day, friends. It's just that she's cold, she's hot, and she makes adjustments, okay? Okay, so Kendall's cooking lunch, and I am trying to move things around the best way I can. <laughs> I really think I need to get in here and like just kind of declutter and like repurpose like the way I'm organizing things. I feel like that kind of has to happen like every quarter. I don't know how much or how often do you guys tend to do that. What I really love about how we built out our homeschool space over the years is how like functional everything is at any given time. Because I feel like we're always moving things around. You're always like repurposing things to hold this and hold that and do this with it and do that with it. And so I really try to keep that in mind whenever I bring anything into our homeschool space is knowing that it is not always gonna be used for this thing. And I'm more than likely within the month gonna turn around and use it for something different. So y'all know I love an Ikea situation because I feel like it's perfect for doing that type of thing. Um, so I'm going to use these now. 
I use them, oh no. I just tried to paint my nails and I probably should wait until they're fully dry. But you know, we do what we gotta do. They're a mess close up, but they're good far away. <laughs> anyway, um, I was using these to hold paint. And now I'm gonna take the paint out and use these, I think, to hold these instead. That way I can easily, or I'll make it a little easier for me to just kind of grab these and move them outside and let them sit outside in some sunshine for a little bit and then bring them back in. So I think I'm gonna use these because I have like two or three of them to be able to move these around. But if I take all my paint out of there, I have to figure out where I'm gonna put my paint now. So I feel like it's about to be a whole like organizing overhaul situation and uh, might as well just go ahead and get into it. Um, Plus, y'all know I still have been avoiding getting through those little baskets in my little teacher corner. I just moved all the seedlings in my art cart tier tray, teacher corner, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I just feel like I'm always moving things around to fit whatever we need to fit in at any given time. And so, yeah, let me know what you guys typically do. I just try to always remember that um, when I create a home for something, it is going to change. It's going to change very soon, probably. So I try not to be too married to a configuration because I know that, you know, it's going to be moved around and probably sooner than later. Vanna, what are you doing? <laughs> Give us a wave. Is that a soccer move, Savannah? Yes. Okay. What are you calling? <laughs> Someone asked me a few videos back what I do or like where we keep our paint. And we used to keep all of our paint supplies out in the studio space in the garage. And then we started just kind of moving it around in different spaces. So most of it is in the bottom cabinet here on our um, bookshelf. And now I wanna to try to find a better spot for it back out in the studio space in the garage. So I feel like it just kind of moves around all the time. I also have been really, really eyeing this table, another table from Ikea. <laughs> um, but it seems really functional for like an art cart type of, not an art cart, like an amped up art table type of thing because it has, um, a few drawers like three or four drawers in the middle and then both of the sides are kind of like leaves that can be put down and then pulled back up again and so i feel like it might be perfect to kind of fit over by the window here in our homeschool room and then be moved out into the middle and the leaves be put up for us to do like art projects and experiments and things like that inside here so i'm really eyeing that and i feel like i might be like leaning towards going ahead and getting that um, because then we can keep a lot more of our art supplies in that space too. All right, friends, I ran out of space on my camera. I feel like the most challenging part of making these videos of our homeschool life is that things are just not linear. Like projects and life is just not linear. I keep having a plan. I keep trying to have a plan in my head of things that I want to share. Um, and... I realize lately how much life is just choppy. I feel like I started off wanting to share a certain thing today and then it's turning into something completely different. And that has been the most frustrating thing, even though there's been a lot of frustrations along this like YouTube journey, homeschool. <laughs> but right now I am kind of being forced into organizing all of the things just as they are, um, adventuring together as they're experimenting together my job is to make sure that things are accessible and that there are resources available and there are tools for them to be able to grab this and grab that and just like go with their curiosities and so i feel like a lot of the times i'll have something carved out in my mind to share and to try to record and all of that stuff and then it just gets derailed because there's other things that take priority um and that's a lot of the part you know that has a lot to do with how we go with the flow in our days um and i don't know i don't know i don't know why i'm sharing this i just think it's just a challenge so 
what you see here is what you get <laughs> I start off wanting to talk about one thing and I end up, you know, moving into another. Projects get started one day and don't get wrapped up until a month from now or a year from now. Or they may never get wrapped up because that's just the way life goes so that's something i'm kind of trying to deal with as i try to make these little projects kind of cohesive and make sense and try to put them all into one to be able to share but my life is just not gonna be like that okay we can just pretend like um we have little projects that we're able to document all in one uh but the real life is that you're just gonna get it in little bits and pieces and if you want to follow along then follow along if you don't like the way it's done over here, then there's plenty of other people to um, watch here in these internet streets. So this is what I have here. Um, all of our seeds are on this little tiered card. I did move these over into here and I wish I had one more that's just this size. And then I have these that I've used to just kind of store whatever. I also got these from Ikea a long time ago. And I'm gonna try to do like, um, container garden all right so now i have to do actual work because organizing is really a lot of work <laughs> it's like you have to take everything out and then look at all your containers and things you have to store stuff in and then determine which things will go best in which spaces so that's what she's about to do <laughs> we just had to have a little a conversation about being focused and getting our work done so he's back at it i feel like i haven't been out here in like forever it's been so cold and so rainy and so wet and I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, to check out what's going on. Okay, so let's just ignore this. This is going to get taken care of this this year. I also need, we're going to be re, do you call it paving or putting down some type of flooring out here? I've got to figure out a solution for new cushions here hoping to just kind of revamp this space for us to be out here a lot this year this is the reality of it all friends that hopefully over the next um few weeks we can get to so obviously i need to pull all of this up um and i don't know i just think it's pretty amazing that it can look like this now and in a very short time from now, it's going to be growing all kinds of goodness for us. It looks pretty sad back here right now, but that's okay because it won't for long. So we look in. All right, that's our current state of affairs. <laughs> it feels like a lot. It is a lot. But that's okay because it'll be a nice little project for us we can do a lot of living and learning from so all right friends so dinner is all done we're just waiting for the kids to get back from practices and i think that's it for today i don't <laughs> i don't even know what else i need to get done so i gotta get laundry done today i have to get laundry done a little bit of meal prep for the next couple of days um brian started getting the things cleaned up outside um, and I really think I need to put in a little bit more time thinking about how I want to map out the garden beds this year. I mean, I pretty much know that we were just going to use um, what we used last year. But I, like I said, I wanted to add a lot more container gardening. A lot more container, um, like beds, would you call it a container bed? I don't know. But I want to add a lot more containers. And then there's a space that I think I showed you earlier um, over by the side of the house that I feel like could handle a couple of like um, standing like raised beds. It would be nice to be able to use that space over there. So I think tonight I'm gonna get all settled in and then try to get in a little bit of planning and dreaming for that space and what I want it to look like this year. Um, and then of course, take into account what the kids have mapped out in their garden journals so far. So that is what we're gonna do, friends. I don't even know if this vlog made any sense, but we're just gonna go with it, okay? Um, thanks for hanging out with us today. Remember that life is so very full of lessons and our goal as always is to live and to learn. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.